Of course, the biggest night of the year for kids and kids at heart. And in this case, we're talking about our very own Mike Polk Jr. Yeah, Mike actually is not on a sugar buzz right now. We that we think. know of. Uh, that's just who he is. He's always a little bit higher, hyper than anybody else. But he's at one of Northeast Ohio's most famous seasonal displays. So without further ado, let's bring in the mayor of Halloween from li uh, live from Old Brooklyn, Skelly Manor. Hi, Mayor. How are you this evening? Good evening, children. As Trick or Treat is about, treat, is about to get underway, I am at one of the most elaborate and scariest places in all of Greater Cleveland, Skelly Manor. Look at all those skeletons clinging to the side of the building like goofballs trying to get in or out. Who knows? Who knows what they're up to? I just know there's a lot of skeletons here. There's so many. Uh, you can't even believe it. And here's the guy responsible for all this artistry. Mike, Mike, how are you? And happy Halloween. And why do you do this? Uh, try to bring some smiles to the neighborhood and uh, I know uh, haunted houses are pretty expensive, so I wanted to build something that people can come and do for free. That is very cool. Now, earlier we toured your amazing garage that you've turned into a labyrinthian maze of clownish hell, and it's amazing, and I recommend it, and that's, that's great. But now we're up front. We're going to show everybody your artistry up front here. Tell us why you went with the skeleton theme, first of all. Uh, I don't know. It just kind of grew. Like, we started with that skeleton up there behind the, the Reaper. Oh, right. Yep. That was the first skeleton, and then it just grew from there. Because you could have gone bats, you could have gone dragons, you could have gone ghosts, you went skeletons, and I think it's very effective, and it's become very popular in its fifth year, right? Yep. Uh, yeah, we're getting quite a few people coming to enjoy it, so. Now, this is also free, which is super cool, that kids can come in and, and check all this out and go through your weird giant garage, which is, again, is very uh, awesome. But you are accepting donations for something, uh, just not this directly. Right. We, we raise uh, funds for uh, skeletons for St. Jude. I think right now they're right around $187,000 through this campaign um, this year. The, uh, I think that it was said that this is second to the St. Jude Dream Home giveaway. Okay, wow. So that's very impressive. You're yeah. putting, uh, getting up some good numbers. And about how many people are you going to see uh, walk through here tonight on Halloween proper? Maybe 1,000. Really, a thousand people. Now, trick or treat's about to start. Yeah. Uh, do, is this place ready for a thousand people to be trampling all over your yard and, and uh, mucking up all your skeletons? Yeah. Yeah, you are. This is what you. This is what you live for. Right. All right. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people have different hobbies. Obviously. Right. How does the fam feel about this hobby? Uh, my wife's an X-ray tech, so she kind of loves the skeletons <laughs> on the house. Oh man, she, is she very analytical about them or anything like that? Does she say, "Hey, that's that's not right"? No. No? All right, so she's fine. So she's open-minded, though. She likes what the, yeah. you do this year, and obviously the neighbors and the kids all like it. Is there one neighbor who hates that you do this? The one behind us. She hates this? Yeah. Is it, and are they, but they can't really get mad because it's for charity and kids love it, so does that complicate things for you guys? Uh, no. No, not at all? I can't see her, so I don't care. <laughs> but, hey, I think that's a beautiful sentiment right there. You see that? Hey, there's nothing you can do about it. It's a free country and it's Halloween. <laughs> that was fun. Do you want me to go and holler at her in person? Be my guest. All right, we'll talk about that. I probably won't. I pro Happy Halloween. Get to helping those kids. Oh, here comes your first batch. Look out. Oh, boy, guys. All right, I got to hit the trail because I, I got I to gotta hunch the <laughs> candy. It's going to be going quick around these parts. Mike, before we let you go, you can you find out? Right. He's got some coin wrapped up in this thing. What's the budget for all of that? Yes, uh, budget. I'm sorry, but we, we're asking about the budget. If you had to guess how much money you've invested in all of this over I the years, I have a Corvette sitting in my garage for what all this cost. Wow, you can have a Corvette, but you just have a Corvette sitting in your garage when you have this out for everybody. That's right. All right, so I can tell he regrets it, but it doesn't matter. It's too late. Happy Halloween, everyone. Mike, wonderful job. His priorities are in the right place. So great. All right, be careful in that neighborhood. Now you are a marked man. Be careful. All right.